Hi everyone, Melissa here. In today's video, I want to talk about resistance, triggers, unwanted circumstances, um, reacting in a way that we don't prefer, um, all that stuff. Um, I just want to do one video that addresses how to deal with all that quickly to squash it and move forward in your desires and get what you want quickly in spite of any of that stuff. So if you've been struggling with feeling like there's lots of resistance or feeling triggered or getting really caught up in some circumstances in the 3D that you just don't like, I think this video will really help you. Uh, okay, so also just really quick, um, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one coaching and I have some awesome courses on specific manifesting, specific subject matter, um, relationship, fitness, health, uh, money, um, communication. Anyways, the link for working with me or my courses and my courses is in the description of this video. Okay, so this video is not something I've never talked about, but I'm going to talk about it in a different way. And I intend that this gives you the breakthrough you've been looking for. Um, this is something I've been thinking a lot about with my own manifesting, conscious manifesting journey. And um, it, it's a little bit nuanced, but I think th this really helped me um, understand my power as a conscious creator, how powerful we are, and um, how to just navigate days where I just don't feel good, days where I don't feel empowered, when stuff comes up that just is crappy or I just don't like it, um, when I'm just not seeing results on something I've been trying to manifest. This this little observation really helps, helps me in those moments and helped me to get past some old unwanted stories that I was telling myself. Okay, so I'm lumping being triggered and resistance and limiting beliefs and unwanted circumstances all into the same video because really all that is is you not allowing yourself to have your desire, not allowing your desire to manifest because of those things. So so let me give a little more detail on that. Okay, so let's talk about triggers. How I would define a trigger would be you are experiencing a circumstance in your reality and you immediately dislike it and it makes you feel bad and maybe you have an emotional reaction to it or wh whatever the thing is that showed up, whether it's a behavior you perceived or an actual event that you perceived or a conversation or something somebody said or did or didn't do or did, whatever it is, that thing is triggering you. It's, it's activating within you an unwanted belief, uh, an unwanted story, an, a program, an auto default program within your mind, something you're telling yourself is true that you don't like, that you don't prefer. It's activating that within you, it's, which is triggering to you, which then usually produces some unwanted emotions, makes you feel upset, angry, sad, mad, frustrated, um, instantly just you experience this thing and it just instantly brings you to that place of, I don't like this, this makes me feel bad, okay? That's how I would define a trigger. And unwanted circumstances are also triggering, so they can be lumped together. Unwanted circumstances, obviously, just anything that shows up in your reality that you experience that you just don't like. Like, okay, this happened, this sucks, I really don't like it, I don't prefer it, that would be an unwanted circumstance. Um, or maybe it's contrary to what you have been wanting, okay? Um, and then resistance, that word gets thrown around so much, the big bad resistance. All resistance is, is any reason you're telling yourself for why you can't or don't have what you want right now. That's it. It's based, and another way to think about that is, it's you not allowing yourself to have your desires. It's you not allowing them to be visible to you because you believe that they are not possible because of X, Y, Z. You believe they're not true because of X, Y, Z. So resistance, unwanted circumstances, triggers, all that stuff is just limiting limitations, self-imposed limitations between you and your desire, between you and your desire manifesting. Okay. 
And it doesn't have to be a big, scary thing. None of that has to take a long time to clear up. None of that has to take a long time to get over or figure out even. Um, I see lots of times where clients are just like, I just don't know what my block is. I just can't figure out what my block is. That alone can just be a block, you know, trying to dig and dig and dig to find your blocks and find your block and find your blocks. So we get caught up in in that line of thinking you know constantly trying to identify blocks is just going to keep you within the narrative of constantly always having to find more blocks you know your thoughts are the story of your life and every time you think about things you don't prefer or you're digging for thing you're searching for something you don't want to find you're searching for something you think is there that's preventing you from having what you want you're just recreating that narrative over and over again. Like, um, let's say you've been trying to manifest an SP and you're just remembering a big fight or a breakup or something they did or said that made you feel bad. You are just recreating that, you're, you're remembering a circumstance over and over and over again, which is making you feel a certain way over and over and over again. And, and you're just looping that. And so when you're trying to manifest the opposite of that, it's fighting, it's fighting against it because you're constantly remembering, oh, but this is true instead. Oh, but what I don't want is still true, but what I don't like is still true. So anything that's reminding you that what you don't like is true, that what you don't want is true, anything that's making you feel limited, that's all grouped into this category. Um, and so, so now that we know what all those things are, it's just thinking about things in a different way that, you know, to, to get us out of that. So the first thing to know is where, when you feel triggered, when you notice an opposing circumstance, when you notice something stressful or you're feeling frustrated or we're or getting caught up in all that emotion, it's not that you want to fight against that feeling. It's not that you want to beat yourself up for reacting in a certain way or remembering something you don't like because you're keeping it alive in your reality. Don't create more bad feeling because of a bad feeling, right? Like don't beat yourself up because you're feeling bad. That's just going to keep you in that mentality. The trick is you notice it. You allow yourself to feel however you're feeling because you got to that place already. You got to get those emotions out. You got to get those feelings out. It's okay to cry. You'll feel much better once you do. You'll get, you'll feel, it'll feel much easier to step back into your power once you do. And then practice being unbothered by whatever it was bothering you. I'm going to say that again because it's really simple, but it's really powerful. Practice being unbothered by whatever was bothering you. So, it's not that you're ignoring it. It's not that you're forgetting about it. It's that you're reframing it in your mind. You're choosing a different truth about it. You're choosing a new truth about it. So you're giving it a new meaning. Like when you practice being unbothered, you are declaring that this thing that once bothered me before does not, not now does not have that meaning to me. Now does not get to bother me anymore. I'm not giving my power away to that circumstance. I'm not giving that circumstance the power to affect me anymore because I am the power over it. And so when you practice being unbothered, it's much easier to look at that circumstance as an indifferent observer, which is your, the sweet spot of all manifesting, to not take things personal or when you notice you're taking something personal, immediately step back into your power because the circumstance is not that what has the power it's the meaning you're giving it which will then change the circumstance right how you're perceiving everything is your power which is the meaning you're giving everything which is directly re directly related to how you're reacting to something so when you practice not being bothered you are stepping back into your power and it's it's like you are acknowledging the old story that was alive within you the unwanted story the unwanted meaning you're giving something that you're acknowledging the trigger you're acknowledging the resistance the reason you thought you couldn't have what you want or you thought that what you want isn't possible for you or not true for you you're acknowledging that but you're not allowing yourself to be triggered by it you're not allowing yourself to be bothered by it anymore that's where you start to take your power back 
that's where you start to get the momentum going in the direction of your desires. So when you practice being unbothered, you eliminate the resistance because you're not fighting against an unwanted story anymore. You're just noticing, okay, you showed up. You know what? I'm not going to let you take over my life anymore. I'm not going to be consumed in that story anymore. I'm not going to stew in that story anymore. I'm not going to marinate in that unwanted story anymore. Because a lot of times I'll see clients and they'll be like, okay, let's use SP for an example. I want to get with this SP. I want a relationship with this SP. But then they they remember an old story or, or a circumstance or something. So let's say um, there was a breakup or they got ghosted. Okay. So they're constantly affirming for the opposite of whatever that circumstance was. So um, they talk to me all the time. Okay, let's say the circumstance was ghosted. So their new story would be, they talk to me all the time. But they're not allowing themselves to be unbothered by what they know to have happened, to have been true. And so every time they say the new affirmation, it, tr it triggers that memory of the unwanted story. So it feels like you're stuck. It feels like you're doing something wrong, but you're not. You're not doing anything wrong. The more you focus on the new story, the more that's going to feel empowering to you, the more that's going to feel possible to you. But at the same time that you focus on the new story, practice being unbothered by the old story. Practice being unbothered by whatever happened that triggered you. Practice being unbothered by whatever circumstance stressed you out or upset you or frustrated you. Practice being unbothered at the same time that you are empowering yourself in the new story. And I promise you'll feel a shift inside. Like you will physically feel a shift. I know when I'm feeling triggered by something, I physically feel uh, in my, usually it's in my stomach area. It just feels tight and uncomfortable. You know, stress. Stress is, is a good sign that you're feeling triggered by something, right? You're making something mean something that you don't prefer. So when you, when you couple practicing being unbothered by your unwanted circumstance, being unbothered by your unwanted story, and being empowered in your new story, living in the possibility of your new story, uh, allowing yourself to to declare the possibility of your new story you're untouchable you're unstoppable your desires have no choice but to manifest because you've cleared that trigger you've cleared that resistance you've cleared that unwanted circumstance you've, you've taken its power away you've stopped letting it dominate you you've stopped letting it be what you know every morning you wake up and like i have to affirm this to get rid of this unwanted story but right there you're immediately resisting it because you're saying, I have to do this to get rid of this. Well, if there's nothing to get rid of, then there's nothing in the way of what you want. You see what I'm saying? So practice being unbothered by whatever was bothering you. If you need to cry about it first and be mad about it for a day first, do that. That's okay. But then practice being unbothered. That's what letting go really is. Everybody talks about letting go in the manifesting community. It's not letting go of your desires. It's letting go of the, quote, resistance or the trigger or the unwanted story. And what that means is it's dropping it off. It's 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 letting go of the grip you have on it. It's it's letting go of the ownership you take of it. It's letting go of the power you're giving you're you're giving it. It's letting go of the the reasons why you think you can't or or don't have what you want. It's it's letting it's letting that narrative go. It's not letting go of your desire because you're always going to want something. As soon as you manifest one thing, you're going to want another thing. We always have desires. It's not letting go of that. That's how, you know, that, that's how we operate. We, you know, we're always excelling, growing, changing. So of course you're going to have desires. You're not, you're meant to have them. That's why they show up. You're not meant to ignore them, but you got to practice getting out of your own way and allowing what you want to show up by being unbothered by your perceived obstacles, your perceived limitations. So that's my tip and trick for the week. Um, I've just been really thinking about this a lot because that's been a real turning point for me in my manifesting journey. And especially as it relates to stories I've had going on for a long time that maybe I wanted to change or just circumstances that showed up that I just really, really, really didn't like in the moment. Okay. I saw it. I got upset. It bothered me. But then I picked what I preferred. I started my new story. I started affirming my, affirming my new story and I became unbothered by what showed up before. It doesn't matter. You know, another way to say unbothered, like my, my way of saying to stay be unbothered is I'll see something I don't prefer. I'll notice I'm thinking something I don't prefer. 
irrelevant, doesn't matter, so what, who cares? This is what's true instead. Maybe I thought that was true before, but it's not true now. This is what's true instead. Doesn't matter what showed up yesterday, today, five minutes ago. Doesn't matter what's showing up right now. I'm unbothered by it because I know that this is what's true instead. Another way to look at it is, if you knew that you were for sure 100% always gonna get what you want, would you really care about how you got there, about the middle? Would you really be super hyper-focused on the middle? I'm sure there would be things you'd prefer would would or wouldn't happen. But if you knew, no matter what, you were always going to get what you want, you wouldn't be bothered by what's going on in the middle. So that's where the game of focus is. That's where the game of focus is played. It's from the time you have the desire to the time it manifests, you stay focused in your end goal until it shows up. That's your challenge. That's your That's the work. So. I hope that helps to clear things up. I, I really, really intend that this helps you to feel freer in your manifesting journey and to kick that resistance out the door. Like cancel it, cancel it. Resistance. This is this is the moment where resistance is officially canceled. I'm declaring it. Triggers are canceled. Resistance is canceled. Unwanted circumstances. Let's just cancel them off. Okay. And the way we do that is we notice it. We stay unbothered by it or we get unbothered by it as quickly as we can, we declare a new truth, boom, gone, canceled, bye. Okay, all right, I think that's it for this video. I intend you have an amazing rest of your week. Like I said, I'm available for coaching and I have some awesome courses. Check out the link in the description of this video and I'll see you in the next one.